Okay, so what is the singleton set? Um, the singleton set is a set which has only one element. One element. Then what is infinite set? The infinite set is um which in which the elements will continue on and it will not stop. Yeah, we also call it uncountable. That means you cannot count it. Okay. Okay. And then what is the sign for empty set? Symbol for empty set. Um, a, a, a circle and a line. Line on. Okay, perfect. So you mean this way, a circle and a line on it. Correct? Yeah. Is this correct? To denote empty set? No, sir. No, this is incorrect. You either do a curly bracket with nothing inside. Okay. Or just that. Yes. And equal. What is equal set? When will I say two sets are equal? Um, when both have the same element. Yes, correct. So we have started with a sum of practice set. 1.2. Yeah, this one. Uh, I want you to write a question. Uh, you wrote the question, right? Yesterday, the first uh, one. I, I, we finished the first one. First one. Okay. So you got A. We wrote A is equal to 1, correct? Yes. Sir. Singleton 1. Okay. Now, B. Can you read B? B is that. X variable such that B, X is B, an actual number. B is a set of. B is a set of the variable X such that X is an actual number, but X is neither prime nor, nor composite number. So what, what is the value of X? Neither prime nor composite. There is only, yeah. Think so one. One. Yeah. Yeah, correct. One. Any other number? Yeah, just one. Neither prime nor composite. Is there is there any other number? Yeah, it's only one. It's only one. Sir. Only one. Correct. So one is neither a prime nor composite number. C. Can you read C? Uh, set of three is such that x, the variable x, so the set of C is the variable x such that x belongs to natural number and x is smaller than two. Less less than two. Less than two. So, which is a natural number less than two? One. One. Any other number less than two? Any other natural number less than two? No, sir. No, only one. Now you can see this is set A, this is set B, this is set C. Read this question. What the question says, decide which of the following of the sets following are, are equal. So, which of the following are equal? Can you tell me? When two sets are said to be equal? Um, when they have the same elements. So which of the A, B, C, which are equal? All. All are equal. So A is equal to B, B and B and is equal to, B C. Is equal to C. So all three are equal. Is this question clear? Have you understood? Yes, sir. Now I want you to write it. Make, make uh, sure that you write the exercise number, sum number, everything. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, before you continue, uh, do you know how to make PDF? PDF? How to make yes, a PDF? Sir. Yes, so you, your homework when you finish, 
make a PDF of your homework and send it to me through your mom's number. I finished the, I, I finish the homework now. Uh, yeah. So after the class or tomorrow, okay. you make after. a PDF and send me. So I'll correct it. I'll check how you have done it. Sure. Done, sir. Okay, so we'll move on to question number two of the same exercise 1.2. So it says decide which set A and B are equal, and you have to give a reason for your answer. The following other sets will be given and you have to decide which of the two sets A and B are equal set. So first, A is equal to even prime number. So this you already know, which is the even prime number? Two. Two. So this is set A. Now see set B. Can you read this? B is the set. B is set. B is, is the variable x such that seven x minus one equals thirteen. Now we have to solve this equation to find out the value of x. So let's do the solving. So equation is seven x minus one yes, equal to thirty. What should I do? Can you tell me? Um, we'll take one to the other side. You take minus one on the other side. Yeah, minus. So seven x is equal to thirteen. What? Minus one. Oh, my minus one went on the other side. Minus will change to plus. Plus. So this will become thirteen plus one. Plus one. one. So note one thing that when you take a no negative number. On the other side of the equal to sign, negative number changes to positive. So minus one, when it went on the other side of the equal to sign, minus one became plus one. So that's how you get 13 plus one. How much is 13 plus one? 14. 14. Now, to remove this seven from here, what should be done? Um, um, we should put x, x alone. So what do we do? I want to remove this seven from here. Um, divide. We divide. We divide seven by fourteen. On both sides. On both sides. How will you say it? Say it. We divide seven by fourteen on both sides. Not by fourteen. Don't say by fourteen. Just say we divide so seven on seven. both sides. And that also that we'll write it as well. So. Divide seven on both sides. Seven on, on both this. sides. So how this will become? Seven x uh, divided by seven is equal four. to fourteen upon seven. Seven. Now here, what will happen? This side, what will happen? Um, one. One. So seven and seven cancelled. One. 
but there's a variable here x so it is just x x and how much is 14 divided by 7 2 2 correct so what is the value of x 2 2 so what will be in the set d mm. Just is a and b equal yes sir yes so for here therefore a set a is equal to b have you understood this yes sir okay write it down and write this working also this also okay. write it understand each and every step and write Done, sir. Can you show me the way you have written? Let me see. Yes, sir. That's a book Wait, little, little bit. Oh, well, one more thing is uh, here uh, besides this two, just write two is the in the in brackets just write two is the only even prime number. Two is the only even prime number. Okay, in the round bracket of it. Done, sir. Done? Oh. Okay. Okay, now we'll move on to question number three. And we have to decide in this question, 
which of the following are empty sets and you have to also give reason why so can you read this set a thank you so much set a is the variable a such that a is a natural number smaller than 0 Can you tell me what will come in the set in listing method? Which is a natural number smaller than zero? First none, of all, sir. none. Correct, none. So is A an empty set? Can I say? Yes, sir. So since nat, you know that natural number begins from one. One. It is one, two, three, and so on. So a natural, there is no such natural number. Less than zero, you can say directly say that A is an empty set. Yes, sir. you can write it as a note. There is no such natural number there is no such natural number less than zero. So A is an empty set. Yes. Write it down. Okay, second one. We have to decide whether it is empty or not. Can you read? Set B is the variable x such that x square equals zero. So the equation here is x square is equal to zero. B is a set of x such that x square is equal to zero. Mm -hmm. Now here equation given is x square equal to zero. How will you find the value of x? Um, suppose, okay. Suppose if you have x square is equal to four. Suppose, how will you find out the value of x? So we we'll find out the square root of four. Yes, correct. So you take square root of four, and you know what is square root of four? Square root of four is four. What is square two square? Um, my when. Two numbers are multiplied by each other. Ah, okay. So what is the square of two? Four. Sir. Four. The square of two is four. So square root of four will be two. Yes. Sir. Understood this? Yes. Sir. So now can you tell me square root of four? Two. Two. Square root nine will be three. Three square root sixteen will be 
4. 4. Correct. So, in this, the value of x is 2. You took the square root. Do the exact same thing here. Um, so, x will be... Will be none, sir. What is square because root 0? You can do square root 0. It will be 0. 0 itself. So, the value of x is 0. zero. Okay. So, is it empty? Is it empty? Um, You're getting the value for x as 0. Is the set empty? No, no, no it, is, it is not empty. Good. I'll just uh, erase this. So taking square root on both sides, you get x is 0. And this is not an empty set. So b, because you're getting the value of 0 into it. So b is not an empty set. Not an empty set. Is this some clear? Did you understand why yes. it is not empty? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because? Yeah. Say, say. Because 0 is still a number. Yeah. You're getting the value for x. If you would look not get the value for x, then you would say it is an empty set. Empty set. Okay. Right. Okay. Answer. Okay, so we have one more set. We have to say whether it is empty or not. Can you read it for me? Um, set C is such that C set C is the x variable such that phi x minus two equals zero x x belongs to the natural number. Natural number. So here we have an equation and we have to solve that equation, find out the value of x and write it in the set. Understood what we have to do? Yes, sir. Can you solve this equation? 5x minus um, 2 is equal to 0. Yes, sir. Okay, um, right? We will take a... Yeah. Um, should I write your thought? Yeah, write a question, okay. solve it and tell me the value of x. Okay.
show the value of x is 2.5? 2 upon 5. 5. 2. 2.5. 2. Can you show, show the put a book in front of the screen and show me? Take it little bit away from the screen. Yeah, catch it like, hold it like that. Okay, one mistake you have done, one small mistake. So the equation was 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. You took minus 2 on the other side, correct? So you got 5x is equal to 0 plus 2. So 5x is equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. Correct? Now look at the coefficient with the variable x, which is a coefficient with x. Um, five. Five. So to remove this five, what should you do? Um, we should divide five. Five. Divide where? By both sides. Both sides. Correct. So when you divide, divide both sides by five, what will happen? So this will become five x upon five is equal to 2 upon 5. So this is what? 2 upon 5. But what you have written? 2 upon 5. I, was it 2 upon 5? No, so I, I said 2.5. 2.5. So this will become 2 upon. So here, 5 and 5 cancel. And you are left with just x. So x is equal to 2 upon 5. Okay, this cannot be divided. 2 cannot be divided by 5. So we leave this as it is. We leave this as it is. So what is this? This is a fraction. 2 upon 5 is a fraction. So the value of x is 2 upon 5. But but come back to your question. What it is x? Natural. natural numbers. Is x is this a natural number? No, sir. No, this is, this is not a natural number. So there is no such x that will satisfy this equation that will also be a natural number. So such x does not exist. So will set C be empty? Yes, sir. It will be empty, correct? Yes. So have you understood why will it be empty? Yes, sir. So after solving this, you write x is equal to 5 upon 2 is not a natural number. It's not a natural number. Therefore, set C is an empty set. Did you get your mistake? Up to here, it was correct. Only you forgot to divide yes. 5 on both sides. Okay, now we'll move to question number four of exercise 1.2. Now, in this question, it is said, write the reason which of the following sets are finite or infinite. Now you know what are finite sets? Um, which which are which will stop after after some time? Limited, countable, yes. correct? Yes, sir. And what are infinite? 
the sets will, which will never stop never stop Un, unlimited uncountable okay so let's see can you read this one first one set a is, uh, set a is x variable such that x, uh, x is smaller than 10 x is a natural number don't say smaller than, okay? This sign, say it as lesser than. Lesser. Lesser than 10, okay? So, x is variable such that x is less than 10, x is a natural number. Natural. Can you tell me all those natural numbers less than 10? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8, 9. nine. Will I write 10 as well? No, sir. No, no 10. Because they are asked strictly less than 10. Oh, uh, sorry. I have to tell Less than 10 only. So up to 9. Okay, so this is a list roster form of this set. Is this finite? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, it's it finite. Is a finite. So therefore, you say A is a finite, finite set because it stopped at a point. So A yes. is a finite set. Write it down. Done so. Okay. Second one. We have to identify whether it is finite or infinite. Okay. Read it. Set B is Y such that Y, y is lesser than minus 1. So y is an integer. Okay. So Y is an integer. And y is lesser than less minus than one minus so in roster form listing form can you list how will we write it yes sir. b equals curly brackets minus two minus three minus three minus four minus five Dot, dot, dot. So set B is an infinite set. Sorry, what? Set B is an infinite set. Infinite set. Okay, set B infinite. is infinite.
done sum. This sum you could have looked it in this way also. Integer number line. These are the positive integers. These are the negative integers. Negative integers. And this is minus one here. This is minus one here. So which are the numbers lesser than minus one? As you said, here these minus. are minus 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 two, minus three, minus, minus four, two, and minus so on, three. never ending. Okay, so what you said is correct. So minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. So that can be written like this also, or it can be written the way you said it also: minus two, minus minus three, minus four, and so on. Okay. okay. It, it can be written like this also, like dot, 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 because it is from your left side. That is why. Okay. Yes. yes. So let's move on to the third one. C is equal to set of students of class nine from your school. Set of students of class nine from your school. You don't have to solve anything directly. Can you tell? Will it be finite or infinite? Finite. 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 So in your class, nine star of class of standard nine, there are limited students only. They are countable. Yes, you can count them. So the number of students in a class is limited, and it can be counted. So therefore, C is the finite set. Okay. Write this statement. Done, sir. Okay, read this. Yeah, yeah, have, have your water. Have. So I can only see that first one, set of people from the village. Yeah. So is, will it be finite or infinite? Finite. Finite. Why finite? Because they can be counted. They can be counted. So the number of people in a village is limited and can be, can be counted. Therefore, the given set is a finite set. So write, a, write this question and then write this as a solution. Number of people in a village is okay. limited and it can be counted. Now this also we have to decide whether it is finite or infinite. Set of apparatus in laboratory. What is an apparatus? Do you know it? 
all those all the instruments that are used which in I the use, lab, which are used in the laboratory, laboratory they are called as apparatus so set of all these instruments or set of all apparatus in a laboratory will that be a finite set or infinite set finite finite why because they can be counted yes they can be counted so these are all instruments examples of instruments if you can see in the picture they are funnel. these are funnel these are all apparatus that are used in a laboratory and obviously the apparatus in the laboratory are limited and they can so be I counted Therefore, this set is also finite. Set of whole numbers. Set of whole numbers is this finite or it's infinite? Infinite. Can you tell because me how it will look like? What are the numbers in this set? Um, two, two plus one, my, my whole, one. Whole numbers, whole numbers. One, two, three, and all are natural numbers. Whole numbers. One number extra. In whole numbers, there is one number Zero, extra. Zero, one. Yes, correct. Zero, one, two, three, and dot, 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 dot. Okay, so the number of elements in the set of whole numbers are uh, unlimited, unlimited and uncountable. Therefore, given set is an infinite set. Okay, so one very, very important point to keep in mind, natural numbers starts from one, one, one two, three, and so on. Whole numbers starts from starts zero. From zero. Zero. zero, one, two, one, two three, three, and so on. And integers, integers are usually denoted by Z, okay, by the letter Z. And that, how it starts from? Um, minus one. Yes. Uh, think about the number line. Okay. So it is in minus one, How uh, in the number line, how you do you write zero, your one, two, one, three, and so on. And here minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. So this in set of integers can be written like this, dot, 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 dot. Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, comma one, 
two, three, and dot, dot, dot. Okay, this is the way you write in teachers. Keep, these are very important points. Natural number, whole numbers, integer. Okay. Now, this also we have to identify whether it is finite or infinite. Now, this is set of rational Rational. numbers. What are rational numbers? Oh, fractions. Fractions, correct. So, the symbol that is used to denote rational numbers is Q. Okay, Q. We denote Q as rational numbers. And elements of rational numbers are of the form A upon B. So, they are in fractions. And one more point, this denominator should not be equal to zero. Okay? Denominator should not be equal to zero. B not equal to zero. Then only it will be a rational number. So, A upon B, such that B is not equal to zero, this is a rational number. If the denominator is zero, then that is not a rational number. Did you understand? Let's see, for example, for example, four. Is four a rational number? Um, no, sir. It's just no. a normal number. Hi. What is 16 upon four? A rational number. So this is a rational number. Okay. Is uh, is one a rational number? No, sir. Then what is one upon one? A rational number. Rational number. So just try to identify, imagine how rational numbers look like. Will zero, is this a rational no, number? No, because this is like zero upon zero. And zero is coming in the denominator. So, this is not a rational number. Okay. So, yes. rational number are those numbers which you can write it in the form of A upon B. Okay. Which you can write it in the form of fraction. For example, if you see 4 can be written as 16 upon 4. So, 4 is a rational number. So, how many such rational numbers are there? Infinite. 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 So the number of elements in the set of rational numbers are unlimited and uncountable. So given set is an infinite set. So that was the last sum of your practice set 1.2. Now from the pro we have not finished with the chapter, still there are more concepts to learn. But from the problem set one, we'll take the similar type of sums that we have done in uh, 1.1 and 1.2. Okay. So this is the MCQ. Uh, fill in the blank that question from your problem set one, the first question. So it says P. Can you read P? Set P is 
the variable x such that x is an odd number, odd natural number, one, one is lesser than x, which is lesser than or equal to five. How to write this in the first form? So these are the options given. Option A, B, C, and D. So in roster form, how will this look like? So first, tell me. So X is between one and five. Okay, but you see this is strictly and this is lesser than equal to. So what are elements in the set? Can you tell me? And look at this also. Odd natural number between one and five. So can you tell me that? Three. One. But this is, this will say that one not included. Sorry, Shumar. One not included in your set. Why? One is an odd because, number. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because see, that is saying one, this is yeah. strictly strict. That's that's Any yeah, one three of and five. Three, three and five. five. So which is the correct option? D. D is the correct option. D is the correct option. Okay, write it down. Right. Uh, just put the heading problem set one first. One. Yes. <coughs> Done, sir. You have written the correct option also, right? Yes, sir. B. Now this one. This one answer I want you to give. Read it. Um, set P is a one. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What, what type of set? What type of set it is? Is it null? Is it infinite? Is it finite or none? Of finite. Them? Finite. Correct. Finite. Okay. Which of the following sets are empty? First is set of intersecting points of parallel lines. Second is set of even prime numbers. So this you know, this you already know, that is two. Month of an English calendar English less calendar than 30 days. February. February. So this is also you know. And last is P such that P is a set of X such that X, X belongs, belongs to I and X is between minus one and one. 
So what is I? I denotes interval. In the interval. Interval. Now, for example, in a number line, suppose if this is zero, this is one, and this is minus one. So all the numbers between minus one and one, this is called an interval. Okay, between two numbers. Yes, yes. Between two numbers. So that is called an interval. So here, if you see, there are many numbers between minus one and one. So this would be written as like this minus one interval minus one comma one. So you see, this is not empty. This is also not empty. This is also this not is empty. empty. What left set is set of set parallel. Of yeah, uh, yeah. Set of intersecting points of parallel. Do parallel line ever intersect? Always run straight and never touch each other. They never touch each other. So this is empty set. So the correct option here is A, empty set. Did you get the textbook or you are still using the PDF? So I, I have a PDF. PDF only. Okay. Yeah. So you can directly write the answer and then write a question later on. You can do that. Yes. How, how are you writing? You're writing directly answer? I'm writing question only. Okay. Okay. So, Write a question. Done, okay, so we will stop here. Your your homework will be to practice all the sums from practice set 1.2. Okay, we are finished with 1.2, so practice them again. And uh, what you do is, uh, whatever you have practiced from 1.1 and 1.2, make a PDF and send it to me on WhatsApp. I'll check. Okay. Sir. okay? And uh, one more thing I wanted to ask is, uh, are you referring to the uh, recording also that I'm sending? Yes, sir. Oh, so are those helpful? Is it helpful? Yeah, it's, it's helpful, sir. Okay. okay if fine. I forget something, so I want to check. Okay. Okay. So now see you next week, Tuesday. Same, you, same days of the week, Tuesday, okay, Thursday, sir. Friday. Friday. Okay. Bye, sir.